Good afternoon and welcome to Light on the Hill. I'm Pastor John. I hope that you're doing well out there. I've got a few announcements for us before we get started. Uh, first up, our next outreach to the homeless is going to be on October 29th. I will be meeting at the church at 9 a.m. to put together lunches and then handing those lunches out at noon. So I hope that you can join us for that. Also, if you'd like to support that ministry or any of the other ministries here at Timonium United Methodist Church, there is a donation link down at the bottom of this video. Just click on that uh, and it'll take you to our donation page. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get us started with our scripture passage today, which comes from Matthew 21, 33 through 46. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went away to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another, and stole, stoned another. Again, he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, saying, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, he will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it's amazing in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces and will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard this, his parables, they realized that he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. Now I'd like to invite you all to join me in prayer. Uh, Lord, we thank you so much for this day we can come together, that we can worship together. I thank you so much uh, for all the blessings you give us in our lives each and every single week. Uh, Lord, I lift up uh, any concerns uh, anyone at home watching this video might have in their lives. I pray that you will work in each of those situations, that you will see your will done in all of them. Uh, Lord, I also lift up what we see in our world uh, right now. I pray especially for uh, the war in Ukraine. Lord, I pray that you will uh, bring an end to that conflict and peace uh, to that area of the world. And you're in your name. Amen. And now I'd like to invite you all to join me for our first worship song today. 